Now, Prince Harry should be limbering up in Jamaica right now because in less than an hour's time, he will be training with the world's fastest man, the Olympic star Usain Bolt. The prince is on the latest leg of his Caribbean tour to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. And our royal correspondent, Peter Hunt, is trackside. Peter. Well, this is the track where many Jamaican champions have honed their skills. And as you say, Usain Lightning Bolt will give a coaching session to Prince Harry. I won't be taking part. Harry and Usain may well jog, but they won't do 100 metres. I mean, Harry has got his dignity to think about. It will be a light-hearted encounter as London 2012 looms in a country which is grappling with becoming a republic and ditching the Queen. Prince Harry arrived here last night after visiting Belize and the Bahamas. During the rest of the day, Harry will visit a children's hospital and a project which works with in a deprived area of Jamaica and also meet the woman who wants to replace the Queen as head of state. And then this evening, he'll go to a state dinner and deliver a speech and a tribute to his grandmother, who is still the Queen of Jamaica. Now, Prince Harry has been training with the world's fastest man, the Olympic champion sprinter Usain Bolt. The prince is on the latest leg of his Caribbean tour to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. He also met the Jamaican Prime Minister, who wants to remove the Queen as the island's head of state. As our royal correspondent, Peter Hunt, reports now. A casual British prince meets a Jamaican prince of the track, Usain Lightning Bolt, the world's fastest man. The talk was of a showdown, however unequal. Harry was properly equipped, he was sporting the Jamaican colours, but with the cards stacked against him, Usain's a triple Olympic champion, Harry, well, he, uh, bolted. <laughs> Victory was sweet, even if the royal methods were dubious. The world's number one, beaten on his home track, introduced Harry to the way he normally celebrates when he's first. Time now to show how it's done properly. There were two performers on the blocks. Set, go. <laughs> you cheated. You cheated, but I understand when you're slow. I didn't trick you. Guys, you didn't that's how it is. It's okay. You didn't trick you, didn't trick you did you? I'll get him back, though. I'll get him back one day. A rematch. Uh, that's what I'm saying. A rematch. London 2012. Me and you. <laughs> I don't know how to check, I might be busy. <laughs> this is a light-hearted encounter which plays to Prince Harry's strengths. He's part of the future of a monarchy which one day soon may have no formal role to play here in Jamaica. In a BBC interview, the Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller told me Jamaica was on a long journey from slavery. If Britain wanted to apologise for what it did, that would be fine. And now it was time to replace the Queen with a homegrown head of state. Even if the Queen um, does not remain head of, 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 of Jamaica, head of state for our country, the Queen at any time would be welcome to visit. She sent her grandson for now. Once, just touching a royal would have prompted a diplomatic incident. Portia Simpson Miller embraces Harry at the same time as she wants to loosen her country's ties with the ancient institution he represents. Peter Hunt, BBC News, Kingston.